Oh. Oh god. Oh, another bill. Oh, hi everyone. This is the biggest repair bills that I've ever had with my 2002 Jaguar XJR. Before I come back, please click the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel. I'll be back. Hi everyone. If you live in the state of Virginia, you know that in order to uh, drive your car, every year you have to do safety inspection, right? So this year safety inspection and emissions inspection is very expensive. That's right. I passed all of them, but my 2002 Jaguar XJR that I bought back in 2018 for 6,900, finally, gave me the check engine light. Uh, I was driving around one day and then, you know, the acceleration was sluggish. It's like when your wife asks you, why why you perform so poorly tonight? You know, like it doesn't have enough energy to perform uh, her duty or I mean his duty. Anyway, uh, yeah, I was like, I pressed the gas and it was really sluggish. I took it to the freeway and then, hmm, what happened to the acceleration? That's one of the symptoms, right? Poor acceleration and lack of energy, you know, like some men have to take Viagra to perform. But anyway, the Jaguar was really weak and I noticed that, he said, what's going on? But the car was still running. Unlike my BMW M6, with this older Jaguar, the car kept running. It was drivable. It was just sluggish, but I could go up to 70 to 80 miles per hour on the uh, freeway, right? I just want to test it out. And then, but it was really weird. Uh, it was really slow to accelerate. And finally, one day, I got the check engine light. And then, uh, I, you know, I run it through my Autel Maxicom. And it says that, okay, the oxygen sensors, they were bad. You know, because this is like what? 2002 is from 21 years old car you know this is not an, a new car so oxygen sensor went bad so uh, I changed uh, one oxygen sensor it I you know google it online what happened to like uh, this error code and then um, I changed it uh, like four weeks ago it was uh, $227 right and the part was is the upstream one it's really expensive there were okay two upstream and two downstream in this car so the upstream one is really really uh expensive uh so yeah for the for changing uh, the downstream two of them it cost me 227 yeah that's just two okay upstream uh what do you call it sensor and and I, on and then uh after that uh, let me see for the upstream sensor let me see the part okay the downstream is really cheap the parts was only around like 89 dollars each so it's not that bad for the parts but since it is so hard to get into i took it to my mechanic i'm like you know what forget this um i had hard time getting to the downstream because it's underneath the car and i didn't have the tools so i just sent it to my mechanic and then yeah, it cost uh, $227 to replace the two downstream, right? And then it didn't clear the check engine light. Okay, okay. I run my Autel again. And then, okay, so the, the oxygen sensor is still bad. So I changed one of the upstream oxygen sensors. That was very expensive. That was like, the just the part alone. Uh, around like $247. I don't know why Jag uh, charges the upstream sensor no more you know and then it still didn't clear the oxygen sensor finally i i i went to my mechanic i give up uh you guys go ahead figure it out okay so today uh i mean, I mean the car finally is back in my garage but i took it to my mechanic like uh around nine days ago and then he finally diagnosed it apparently all the sensor that we replaced are not the one that's supposed to be replaced 
it was the other upstream sensor okay and the part for that one was like 400 uh let me see This one, nah, four hundred ninety-seven uh, dollar is the a, a Jaguar part, so it is more expensive. Uh, the two hundred forty-nine dollar dollar one was the Bosque, so this one apparently is more expensive. And then he he plugged the uh, upstream oxygen sensor, and then he found that the electrical cable harness was broken so he has to fix some electrical gremlin with this one this car is really famous with you know the ca cable and electrical problems so yeah this is a 21 year old car you know so uh yeah he had to fix the i think the cable was like melted or something i don't know uh, some of the cable connection he has to uh, put the new harness new cable connection and the whole entire thing today Oh, oh, oh by the way to change the other uh, upstream uh, sensor was really cheap it was 115 dollar labor because it's not as hard as the two downstream one but anyway uh, and that didn't fix right but anyway today he finally fixed it uh, and the total cost of fixing like let me see yeah the the other upper stream oxygen sensor and uh, fixing all the electrical cabling problem he has to rebuild you know everything it cost me 944 so 944 uh, plus uh, 115 and plus 227 yeah it's around like uh, thir uh yeah around 13 1400 ish you know so you guys figure it out you know yeah it, it is the biggest repair bill so far uh, if you watch my video uh, this car hasn't given me that many problems you know until now uh, in order to pass Virginia uh, state emission and uh, safety inspection I have to fix this problem because the check engine light wouldn't go away so yeah this is the biggest bills that uh, I've ever had since you know I bought this car in 2018 uh, I think the last one was the subframe right that cost around $500 but the rusted subframe snapped so the parts was uh, 100 I think 79 right i don't remember uh, and then to put it it was pain in the neck so i took it to my mechanic again and they replaced it for like 350 dollars it was heavy if i lift it myself i wouldn't be able to do it it was so heavy it was so rusted and then it snapped into two and my mechanic had you know it took three people to remove that thing so yeah it, co it cost me around 500 dollars to fix the uh, subframe that was cracked and finally broke so yeah this is like the biggest one it's around like 1400 dollars to get this car running i know the car uh the car uh, is old but i love driving it now it's back it's performed and i drove it from my cat my mechanic uh, shop and it was amazing the acceleration was really good and it passed all the virginia uh safety inspection and emission and i was i'm gonna be able to renew the the tag that's the thing about virginia it sucks if your car doesn't pass the emission and safety inspection you know you can't drive the car because they give you a sticker uh the, the emission is for renewing your tag uh safety is you know in order to drive the car you have to have that uh new sticker is saying that you know your car is safe to drive otherwise you can't drive the car you're gonna get a ticket if a police officer see that that you have an old uh safety inspection uh sticker on your car but now i can renew my tag which is gonna be expiring in august and i can drive the car now i got the safety and uh, emission uh, safety sticker today so yeah i'm really excited guys yeah this is like the biggest bill uh i'm actually really happy that uh my old jaguar this is the only biggest bill so far unlike the bmw if uh the car broke like the bmw m6 broke i have to spend like 1500 dollars for this 1500 dollars for that you know it's like in three years i spent close to five thousand dollars to fix the bmw m6 uh, but this one for since what 2018 now it's 2000, uh, 2023 it's gonna be five years i spent only what around at least uh, two thousand dollars so it's not bad for a luxury car like this uh, only two thousand dollars to repair a, a 21 year old car you know it's around like two hundred dollars uh, you know 
changing the oil. I mean, that, that's just uh, part of the maintenance, right? Uh, I did my uh, coil packs and spark plugs. That was really cheap because I do it myself. That was easy. But this one, the electrical gremlin, just be aware if you buy one of this car, you will have some electrical uh, gremlin like, you know, the old cables melted, right? They have to be rebuilt. They have to be repaired. So that's what the, my mechanic did. And finally, he was able to get rid of the check engine light and the car performs really well. So anyway, thanks so much for watching guys. And again, uh, yeah, be, be really uh, careful before you buy uh, this car. If you find a used one, it's really good car. It's really reliable. Unlike a BMW, uh, my BMW, if something goes wrong for a little bit, I wouldn't be able to drive it above 25 miles per hour. With the Jaguar, I was driving it with the check engine light, okay, everywhere. Uh, until finally, you know, I, I got tired. Why is this so slow? And then the state of Virginia said, you cannot renew your tag unless you pass this stupid uh, safety inspection and emission inspection. So yeah, today I had to shell out the bill in order to continue to drive this car anyway love you guys thank you so much again for watching and, and if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please click the subscribe button love you guys bye